Oh, that phone booth. Not this phone booth, man. This phone booth is cursed. What did I say? <laughs> All right. Welcome back to Higarashi When They Cry, episode number 15. Last time, uh, we got introduced to this new guy. I already forgot his name, and it hasn't even been a day. But, um, <laughs> yeah, there's this new guy. He's sent from the, uh, the corporate to investigate what's going on in Hinamizawa because of the dam that they're trying to build. And there's an anti-dam movement led by uh, the three great families. Which is the Faroods, uh, the Sonozakis, and the Kimiyoshis. So this rookie guy comes into town, he gets some info, and he's warned multiple times that he he's not welcome in Hinamizawa, you know. And he's now gonna go to this abandoned part of Hinamizawa, I don't know, some abandoned town. And he's gonna find something, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. I'm, I'm just gonna stop trying to explain or understand this series. I'm just gonna watch it because apparently you guys want me to. The, the YouTube gods say I have to. And this is what sells, apparently. I don't know. This show was also pretty popular back in the day. I, I want to know how and why, you know. Who was watching this and thinking, yes, I want more. Whatever. Start the episode. Oh my god. This is not okay. He did not do anything. He's just the corporate guy's son. Grandson. So he was he was here. Eerie? Oh yeah, they did call a doctor. I mean, is Eerie the only doctor in this town? Man is the only doctor. What did they do? Did they steal your liver? I got it after a car accident last winter. <laughs> what? Eerie, you know this child or something? Like, what? What's that look in your face? <sighs> the, so, so, the, so the kid's gonna have a backstory too? Did they steal this kid's liver? What, what, what did they do? So there's no Keiichi or Reina. Could this be like a prequel? I, stop trying to guess the timeline. Stop trying to understand the series. Just watch. That's 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 my only job right now. Just to watch. Watch the events unfold. Scream. Do the funny reaction. It, but it could be a prequel, you know? Because Reina and Keiichi aren't here yet. Rika seems younger. I, I forgot to even mention Satoko, man. I forgot to even mention Satoko in there. I'm always forgetting about her, but we shouldn't. Akasaka, that's his name. We're headed to the Hinamizawa district. Oh yeah, we got strapped up. Oshi got the body armor on. Oh God, why are you wet? Oh, it's raining. Do we have guns? We gonna roll up in there with guns? So this is an abandoned part of Hinamizawa. <laughs> Are we talking about this? Oh, uh, hi, Eerie. What you up to, man? What you doing? I guess you could say that. Then we're gonna pull up to the same house. No. Oshi! Oh, Oshi, look at the back door, Oshi! 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 Oshi, you are the worst officer ever. No, sir. No, sir. We planned for this. Okay, Oshi! I take back what I said. He's doing his job! Oh my god! This is the same dudes that took Keiichi, remember? With the- with the- with the hat? Oh no! Oshi! Oshi, how did you lose that fight? You got the upper hand on him. And we got shot. Shit. He got shot. Damn, dude, I knew you were gonna die, but I didn't think it was gonna happen this quickly. Run! Dumbass kid! The fuck out of here! Yeah! 
Oh, yes, Oshi! My man, Oshi! Get the blicky. Get the blicky. Hey, it's over. Get the other the other guy! Shoot him! Shoot him! I don't fuck the law! Shoot him! Fuck the law! Shoot him! This man, Oshi. This man, Oshi, think about retirement bonus. I can't, bro. Well, I'm not police, so maybe I could shoot him? Oshi would have to arrest you if you took the gun. Whatever. <laughs> Let's get him back to his home. <laughs> Help your boy out. Hi, Eerie. This motherfucker is Eerie. He always gives me an Eerie vibe. Like, I can't tell, like, like if he's, like, good or bad or neutral. The grandson? Alright, he's, he's good. The minister said he's freezing the Hinamizawa Dam project. No, oh, who could have seen this coming? <laughs> So they succeeded. Anyways, all for nothing. There may be a force more powerful than we think. Oh, she knows, man. He's always known. But those two we tackled with were certainly trained no matter how we look at it. It's hard to believe that a street thug could pull off such a scuffle. His shooting skill was also precise. They were trained in combat for this specific moment. Yep, it is a mystery, Yoshi. Relying on you to solve it. Oh, she's like the only person who can solve this. Okay, who's Rika? Is that you? <laughs> Rika? Oh, that phone booth. Not this phone booth, man. This phone booth is cursed. What did I say? <laughs> Injured people shouldn't sneak out of the hospital. Mm-hmm. Hi, Rika. Got a little scoundrel going around cutting phone cords. What? What do you mean? What do you mean? Nipa, stop saying that. Alright, I'll just do as you say. It's happy ass music. The sweet ass fucking little piano. Like, I can't. Stop following me! <laughs> yeah, she lives at the shrine. Go home. Go home. Shoo. The fest. Oh, God. Why? 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 No. Is he gonna. Oh, he's gonna. Oh, okay. You wanna come to the festival? It'll, it'll be fun. She's luring you into a trap, dude. She might not be the one killing you, but she's gonna lure you to the to the people who are gonna kill you. Wow, oh, look at all these fucking demons. All of them demons. But the Cotton Drifting Festival was different last time. You were like, I don't know, you were you were shearing the cotton. You were in combat stance. I I remember. Now it's just people drinking. Mima. And you were right. But how did you know, Rika? I don't understand difficult topics. Yeah, because you're like eight. <laughs> like eight years old. At least peace will now return to this village. Peace to this village? Ain't no such a thing. <laughs> Even though a year from now, gruesome bloody things will occur. In a few years, I will be killed. What? This has been decided. Decided? Who decides such a thing? It's called Oyashiro-sama. Even if I tell you this, nothing will change. But erasing the moon called death reflected on the water's surface by casting a pebble may be possible. A sacrifice. A sacrifice may make it possible for her to live. Oh, what is this? What is this sound? An airplane? What's up, my boy? How many years was it? Oh, so now it's years later? One day, a few years after the kidnapping, I reunited with o Oshi San. I felt I wanted to see him to confirm something, if nothing else. 
If Rika's still alive, Miyuki was born from Yuki's womb. Okay, so his wife died. So, so they could take anyone, huh? What the f- Oh, no. Ow. Oh, not a pregnant woman, man. So, Cotton Drifting Festival, it doesn't matter where you are. They can just kill you. Just like that. Doesn't matter. They can kill you no matter where you are. And Rika, Rika knew, man. Rika just knows everything. Rika knows everything, huh? Because she's like connected to Oyashiro, which is odd. It's odd, isn't it? If I had known the outcome, I would have gone back to to Tokyo, dropping my work as she said. At least they didn't kill your child, bro. I don't know how that child was born if she died. She died She died, and then she gave birth? Like, Let's say Farood Rika was a prophet who knew the future. Why couldn't she predict that major disaster? So is this after chapter 3? Yeah, the gas. So this is like a follow-up to chapter 3. So for once, the chapters are connected. What? Like now they're co now you want to connect them? Like really? The le the first two had nothing to do with each other. The first three actually, but now chapter three and chapter four are connected. Fuck out of here. So Hinamizawa is gone. Wait, 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 wait. You can't just drop something like that on me, man. Oyashiro Sama's reincarnation, Rika Farood. Bro, what? Wait, what? Uh, <laughs> okay, let's just gloss over this, whatever. Because Rika was killed last time. Who killed her? It wasn't Keichi, it wasn't Satoko. We know that because they just, just they were the ones who found the body. So, because Rika died, that's why all that stuff happens. She was murdered. Naked and barefoot. Oh, God! Not this, man. A drug-induced coma. She was carried there and her abdomen was... Oh, my God. Her organ, turtle organs were intentionally pulled out. Wait, if it was drug-induced, wouldn't that mean it was Reina and Mion? That's like their specialty. That's like Mion. That's, that's how Mion kills people. She did that with freaking Tomatake and that was her, right? Am I crazy? <laughs> I think I think it was Mion, because she's the one who uses the drug. She used it on Keiichi, yeah, that's that's who she used it on. What's your take on these serial mysterious deaths? And the Oyashio Sama's curse. Went on for five years and had the worst ending. Back then, those incidents happened by chance. Every year on the cotton drifting day. We all felt like I hope nothing happens this year. <laughs> No shit, it wasn't by chance. Part of my purpose of this trip this time was to find a link between the Oyashiro Sama serial murders and Furudu Rika who predicted them. Does that mean all the scenarios were prepared a year before the serial mysterious deaths? By Rika? The girl knew about her own death. Then why didn't Furudu Rika run away? Because she was trying to protect someone. Or trying to save herself or someone else. Why didn't she send out an SOS to someone? She tried to. To, to a Akasaka. Yeah, to you. June 1979. The damn manager, site manager will be killed. His body will be dismembered and thrown away. Following that year. She's just given the whole plot. Sasako's parents will be pushed off a cliff and killed. See? Yep, they were murdered. Pushed off. Keep that in mind. Who's Satoko? <laughs> 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 1981. My parents will die. Following this day, on June 1982, Satoko's mean on will get her head cracked in and be killed. That was Satoshi. And then the next year, 1983, Maybe a few days later, I will be killed. If all these deaths happen as predicted, is the last death also in the prediction? But in that case, whose prediction is it? Oh, Rika. This is my favorite fucking scene in the show now. Because it's just crazy, dude.
So you're Oriashiro? Reincarnate? I want to live happily. That's my only wish. I want to spend fun days surrounded by my favorite friends. I'm not wishing for anything more, but I don't want to die. Rika. Ah. Uh, is this Hinamizawa after? Even until this year, the Hinamizawa district blockade still has not been lifted. So Rika was Oyashiro, but Oyashiro is also Rika? Because that's Oyashiro Sama's voice, but it's Rika saying the words. And they called her the reincarnate. So why? Why? That's all. That's the only question I have at this point. Why? Why is all of this happening at all? If, if Rika is like some sort of Oriashiro reincarnate, why is this? Ha why is any of this happening? That's my question. That's my only question. Why is any of this happening? Some of you guys were saying, "Oh, you don't know who the main character is." I had a suspicion that it was that it was uh, Rika. Because they hadn't given her, like, her own little arc yet. I, I always thought she was the most important character to this show. But I didn't think she was Oyashiro, what the fuck? Elaborate, like... <laughs> what meets is the compensation for kindness. What falls is the maze to sadness. What burns are the wor are tw thoughts towards vengeance. Fire-ass lyrics. The eye-opening chapter. First love. Satoshi! Is that Satoshi? Maybe it's about Reina and Satoshi? So Rika always know. Rika always knows everything that's going to happen. Chapter 3, she knew the whole time. She knew everything that was going to happen. Rika, Rika does seem to know what is going on at all times, so maybe. But the events change every time. It's weird. It's weird. Chapter 3 and 4, the one we just watched, they're connected. It's the same events. Because um, the gas leak happened. Was the gas leak Keiichi's doing because he wished for it? Because it feels like there's like two supernatural powers going on at the same time, you know? Almost fighting with each other. There's the stuff that's happening with Keiichi. And then there's the stuff happening with Rika and Oyashiro. Like, I feel like there's like two different forces at work here because there were some things that Rika couldn't predict, like the natural disaster. It can't just all be Oyashiro. That doesn't make any sense, especially if Rika is Oyashiro. That throws a wrench in everything. Okay, so if I'm taking the, the events from the last chapter, Satoko went into the Oyashiro shrine on accident when she was young. Uh, Rika got blamed for it, right? Is that why... Um, I don't know. I don't know. Why would Oyashiro want to curse? See, it doesn't make any sense. I know season... I know I have to watch season 2 to get to the, to the fucking plot, apparently. For Keiichi in the first chapter, we saw those same... The same two men that um, kidnapped that child. And I think they're like the... They're like the, uh, the security around this town, you know? to silence people and to do the bidding of the the three great families they're the anti-damn movement and we've, we've seen them around they're trying to like kill keichi for some reason he was working with oshi and they don't like oshi let's 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 say for instance that all of the stuff before um keichi comes to hinamizawa is canon that happens regardless because this was like a prequel let's say the prequel happens I sound fucking crazy right now. <laughs> this show has driven me mad. Let's imagine that the prequel events happen. The stuff with Akasaka, his his family, the stuff with Oshi. So Oshi's always the good guy in this situation, trying to figure out what's going on in Hinamizawa. And he's always careful. Maybe that's why he's always so like hands off, you know, because he knows wrong one wrong move and he's dead. Because he knows he's working against powers he cannot face. So he tries to get people on the inside like Keiichi Akasaka who is a part of the dam movement. He's trying to get people on the inside but not directly interact with the people who are at the top. And who killed Rika? 
I I think it's Mion and Reyna. It had to be Mion and Reyna. Because they're the ones who used the drug. They're the same ones who killed Tomatake the first time. They had the drugs with Keichi. Riga died the same way that they described Tomatake's death, right? They first drugged him and then they cut him open. If the damn project was stopped, if all of this is kind of over, why why is the murder and death still continuing? Someone somehow, somehow, somewhere, they found out this man's wife. They found this man's wife, Akasaka. They found his wife, pushed her down the stairs while she was pregnant. Or maybe it was just natural forces. I don't know. I don't know. Curse. Something. Something made her fall. Some supernatural thing or a person. Why do I continue to watch this when it frustrates me to no end? I don't know. I don't know, man. But I'm invested in the story now. I'm invested, all right? I'll say it. They got me. They got me. But I can understand anyone who wants to drop this series because it is the most frustrating, confusing mess that I've ever seen. But I'm still going to watch it all the way through. I, I, need to, I need an explanation, dude. I wish that we got to know the characters a little bit more. But I guess that kind of spoils the plot. But like... I don't care about any of their well-beings at this point. Like, I'm not invested in the characters at all. They're like, they're like flesh puppets at this point. Cause I know what's gonna happen to them. There's no, there's no change or variation. They just die. For some reason, everyone just dies in the show. Like with Satoko's backstory, that was really interesting. But I know now that it's gonna get, f like I'm pissed off because I know as soon as I watch the next episode, it's gonna get reset. So we're back to just square one again stupid and even if we do know satoko's backstory it fucking changes every single time the events keep changing so i can't get invested onto these characters because it's like a different set of characters each time their personalities change the plots change the stories change it's like a different character every time so i try to go into it like with like an open mind like i just dump out everything i already know because it doesn't matter except for this time apparently because they did a they did like a sequel and a prequel to the events of the last chapter i, I feel bad for rika don't get me wrong but like the next episode she's gonna be all cheery and like going on me 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 nipa nipa she's gonna be doing all that in the next episode with keichi and friends so wh what does it matter dude let me get to know what is their base personality what i want for like the conclusion of this show is for first everything to be explained i want to see them all like realize what's happening and like work together then i want keichi and his group to all like reconcile and to defeat whatever evil thing is keeping them stuck in hinamizawa whether it's the great families which means they might have to go against Mion, or if it's oyashiro what if the great family is trying to fight Oyashiro. No, they're not. Because they have Rika. They knew it was Rika. Unless they killed her. I don't know. But yeah, that was Higurashi episode 15. Yep, time for another three month break from this. Like, it doesn't matter if I take a break from this show because none of the plot matters at all. It doesn't matter. We're reaching the end of this show, man. They, they better start explaining stuff. But yeah, I will see you guys for episode number... 16 Higurashi. Alright, see you guys.